Hi guys, welcome back to Sweetie Pie Pets. This is Daisy, and Daisy has a precious little package that she wants to share with the world. What do you have, Daisy? What is it? We look over there and tell everyone. Daisy has a brand new litter of babies. Look! Hi, Daisy. Hi, sweet mommy. Hi. You're so beautiful. Look at this precious baby. So some of you might remember Daisy from uh, a previous video that we did. She had a little girl named Marina, her last litter. And now, about a year later, she has finally had her second litter. And this time she had two girls. <gasps> wow, Daisy, I'm so proud of you. Can you hear the baby crying? Oh, the baby didn't want to be held. Okay. So I think the genetics are very interesting with Chihuahuas because you get so much color variation. And Daisy obviously is a long coat cream Chihuahua, but somehow she had two babies that are neither her color or daddy's color. Daisy, how did you do that? So last litter, Daisy bred with our beautiful Wesley. And so of course I expected to get a white and cream baby just like mommy and daddy, and that is what we got. We had little Marina. But this litter, we decided to do a dual stud breeding just to increase the chances of her having at least, you know, one baby and maybe even more babies. And it did work. I'm really glad we did it because even though she bred with both Wesley and with Gucci, it's very obvious that Wesley's breeding didn't take because we didn't get any white and cream babies. This time, we got a black baby and a little diluted coat baby. Oh my goodness, look at those sweet girls. They're so precious. So this one here, I think is a blue. It might be lilac, which is just, you know, a brown base coat with a diluted gene, which makes it be lighter color. And if it's blue, then it's a black coat like this one, but it's diluted, so it's lighter. So it's a gray color. So I'm, th I'm assuming that she's blue. I would have to do the genetics to actually make sure. Uh, but she's also a little tri-color, so that means she's got the little tan eyebrows and some tan markings and a little white glaze down her chest. And both of them are just precious, and we're so proud of our Daisy. She's such a good mommy. She's taken, taking excellent care of her babies, cleaning them and feeding them and keeping them happy. Daisy, you did such a good job. And now that the babies are thriving, they're actually going to go back to my affiliate Mary's house, where the babies will spend the next several weeks growing up and being socialized with kids and learning how to live in a family. Isn't that right, Daisy? So Daisy's really excited to go back and see her family. She's missed them for the last week or so since she's been here at my house. Daisy's a good mommy. Look, this one still has her umbilical cord. Oh, baby, you still got your umbilical cord. Wow. So I've talked about before how when I was a kid, animals were the hugest part of my childhood. I loved all of the kittens that we had and we had goats and we had a couple of horses a couple different times we had ducks and chickens and just all kinds of animals and I really enjoyed them and every year our cat would have a litter of kittens every spring and leading up to the birth of the kittens my family and I would play this fun game where we would guess each one of us would take a guess at how many kittens she was gonna have you know, how many of them were gonna be girls and how many boys, what color was they gonna, were they gonna be? And then of course, when the kittens were to actually be born, we would go through the chart and decide who had won the guessing game. So my affiliate family, they have three beautiful kids and the youngest one is little Layla. And Layla is so cute because she made up a little chart that I guess she and her family do the same thing that I did when I was a kid. And I just wanted to share this little chart. I thought it was so adorable. She went around and asked each one of her family members how many babies and why. And guess what? Layla won the guessing game. Good job, Layla. So for Daisy, Daisy. So for Daisy, 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 Daisy. <laughs> Train of thought, out the window, what am I saying?
If you like my content, please consider subscribing to my channel and liking this video. It's also very helpful if you guys will share this video across all your social media platforms. Speaking of which, please follow me and this litter on my Instagram and my TikTok. We'll be posting updates of these puppies as they continue to grow. And finally, I want to thank my growing list of supporters on Buy Me A Coffee. Thank you guys so much. And if you guys want exclusive content, please support me on Buy Me A Coffee. The link's in the description below. Thanks so much for watching, you guys, and we'll see you next time on Sweetie Pie Pets. Bye-bye. Oh, my. Are you crying? Listen to their little cries. Oh, it's okay. They're okay. Good mommy. She was so worried about them, huh? Yes, precious baby.